I was never the man you chose, was I? This was arranged by our parents before we even knew what marriage meant. Yes. You were so dear to me, Ralph. You always will be. But I cannot marry you. You are in love with Mr. Colburn. I tried so hard not to be. I would understand if you despised me. No. I cannot feel anything other than love for you. That is what makes this so hard. How does this compare with your lodgings in Bristol, Miss Harmon? There's a great deal more room, but it's rather less cosy. <laughs> you realize Georgiana is soon to be mistress of one of the grander houses in the country? Yes, you made that quite clear at dinner. And of course, being a duchess brings with it certain expectations. A level of scrutiny. No doubt. As mothers, we want to see our children flourish, don't we? The last thing we would want is for our presence to be a hindrance. So if you should suddenly find yourself called away, I would be happy to provide you with whatever was needed. I can be quite generous when I want to be. Her heart thumps like a racing horse. You must prepare yourselves for the worst. <laughs> You cannot be. I fear there is nothing more I can do, Herr Parker. Whatever is to come, it will be decided during the night. She requires nothing less than a miracle. I question whether she's even my mother at all or a fortune hunter. I have used you ill, mother. Mrs. Wheatley said there was something you wished to tell me. Something you could only say in person. 